All right, so Andy, of course, congratulations. Uh, a massive score. I think first and foremost, people are going to be curious about the enormous parlay you had in this tournament. You got in on a, essentially a one-cent free roll, correct? Yeah, yeah, I kept that quiet up till the end. I don't want all of the guys to know. Uh, first of that I'm an amateur. Um, I'm just a pub league player. Uh, this is my third ever cash. Sorry, am I taking your questions away Not here? Not at all. This is, you're doing my job. This is easy for me. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I free rolled here at Dust Till Dawn. Uh, it was the third time I tried to free roll. Uh, I came sixth. At, there were five places. I came sixth the first two times and then went through at the very last minute, last chance. Um, so yeah, free roll. Okay. It was a massive reason why I won the, the actual thing, I think. Um, one thing I'm a little bit curious about, having watched some of the play there, was that you were very comfortable taking risks, playing big pots pre-flop, um, putting other players to a decision. Was that part of your game plan coming into the final table? Um, yeah. Um, I have wanted to act like a bit of a plonker to begin with. Yeah. Do you understand the word plonker? Oh, yeah. I do, yeah. Okay. Um, so that people think, oh, he's, he's an amateur, which I am. Doesn't know what he's doing. And then, obviously, I sort of, you know, tightened up a bit. Um, every now and again, you have to, you know, jam it in with yeah. something stupid. Yes, I know, you're probably going to move on to the, the big pie one later. Um, and, yeah, um, I just, you know, as I say, the free will thing to me, yeah. psychologically, was incredibly important. Because I, the whole time I was thinking to myself, I'm just in the free roll here. Yeah. You know, I've qualified for nothing. I've got nothing to lose. Go for it. You know? It certainly worked out. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I think that, you know, in the future, you know, if somebody wants to sponsor me, you know, please, you know, you know, I'm, I'm here for any offers. Um, but I think that's probably the best way to do it. Treat it just like a normal game. Pretend it's a free roll. Don't get all stressed out because, you know, you've got a lot of money on the line and blah, blah, blah. I mean, oh. Poker players are so sensitive. Today I got pulled up on poker etiquette so many times, you know. I mean, I could not believe people complaining. I, I knocked somebody out and I sincerely said to them, I'm sorry. And I got pulled up on it. I could not believe it, you know. I was being sincere as hell, you know. Yeah. It's so British to apologise for everything, you know. I've been raised to yeah. be, you know, very polite, you know. <laughs> uh, so if I knock somebody out and anybody who plays, you know, pub poker with me will tell you, I knock somebody out. I say I'm sorry, and you know I say bad luck, blah blah blah. You know, and professionals or whoever I was playing with today, I don't know right. who they were, um, didn't like it. You know, they take it too seriously. It's just a game. Take it easy. You know, don't get stressed out. Yeah, it was great. You looked uh, very calm and sort of poised today. Uh, I'm thinking everyone's got to be a little bit curious. Prior to this, your, your largest tournament cash was for about 1,800, right? This is for thousand pounds. Yeah. I don't do dollars. Here, right. 18, that's why I, I uh, went for uh, let you fill in that blank. But uh, now this one for about uh, 130,000 pounds. I'm thinking of it in dollars right now. Five. Well, whatever the conversion rate ends up. Mm, yeah, yeah. And uh, do you have any special plans for the money? No, <laughs> I've only won it five seconds ago, so, um, like I say, you know, um, I didn't come in today thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to win, you know, I'm ticking off all these things on a buy, you know, I don't know, you know, um, as I said to you a little bit earlier, I treated it as, as a free roll and, you know, case sera, sera, yeah, whatever happens will happen, uh, and now it's happened, then, you know, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Oh, all right then. Well, enjoy the victory, and we will see you back here in November for our uh, WPT main event that you now have a seat in. So best of luck then. That's going to be here, yeah? That will be here, and we want to thank everyone here at Dusk Till Dawn who uh, hosted such a great event, and of course Party Poker, which uh, got both of us into this event and so many other players here. So Andy, congratulations again. Well done. Too late to say a bit more. Oh, no, I Not at all. What would you like to talk about? Um, basically, I just wanted to thank Dust Till Dawn, mm -hmm. all the organisers, uh, a couple of special supporters who, you know, I won't mention their names, but they are Vegas Andy and Big Dan, um, <laughs> who have supported me out throughout. Uh, they're my negotiating team. Unfortunately, my colleague over here didn't take the deal. That I, oh, no, we're not allowed to do that. Then. Um, and um, yeah, so sincere thanks to Dust Till Dawn, you know, and everybody here who makes this club such a success uh, and such a great place to come and visit and play poker.